back to World of Warships with your host, X-Brad TC, and today we're following Grumpwagon in the Tier 4 U.S. Destroyer, the Clemson. A uh, little bit interesting, I did not get a chance to actually watch this battle. I, I rendered the video while I was watching the Army-Navy game for the first time in 14 years, the Navy actually managed to lose to Army. Army did everything it could to lose. I don't know how many fumbles they had, I don't know. Anyway, Grump is out here on, I believe, the New Dawn map and in his Tier 4 U.S. Destroyer, the Clemson. I know how the battle turns out because I've seen the result screens. What I don't know is how he gets there. Uh, but the funny thing is, Grump was moaning and complaining to me the other day that he was just having absolutely no luck. Couldn't earn a Kraken, couldn't get any torpedoes into anybody. Nothing was going his way. And yet here he is, moving out smartly, trying to find a little bit of initial contact, figure out which side of the map the enemy team is going to. Is the enemy team coming south or are they heading west? Usually you get uh, one or the other will be the main effort. This is a tier five fight. Each team has one carrier. I believe each team had a had a bogue. Oh, I take that back. Each team had two carriers. Uh, I believe each team had a bogue and a uh, tier four carrier as well. Either Langley or the Hosho. I can't remember um, because I didn't really look at the load in screen to see what the teams were. Grump is already detected. That means there's an enemy destroyer nearby. Where is he? There he is. Rounds out. Good hits. What is that, the other enemy Clemson, or is it a Wix? It's got to be a Clemson. Enemy smoking up. Grump's going to go ahead and lay his torps. He has a pretty good idea where he was headed. And a widespread on the second set. Because Grump maneuvered, the enemy torpedoes came nowhere near him. Still detected. Means there's another destroyer within range. Grump's going to engage him with gunfire. Look at that. One of the torps he fired earlier has connected. Straight up duel between him and this Clemson. He kills him. First blood. Other enemy destroyer, for whatever reason, flooded out. That gives him the double strike award and his second kill. Why that enemy destroyer didn't use his uh, damage repair to stop the flooding? I think it was because Grump had either knocked out his engine or set him on fire and he felt uh, compelled to use his damage control and it just wasn't available once he took the one torpedo hit. Grump's in a pretty enviable position here. He can actually lay rounds in on this guy. He's not detected. Well, somebody made him. But he can't. the guy can't shoot back at him really. And there's one more enemy destroyer. Enemy's lost two destroyers, has two left. Grump's gunnery is on target. Big hit. Friendly team has lost a battleship already. Wonder who did that. That's pretty amazing. Grump took about half of that destroyer's health and a cost between the three ships he's engaged so far, the cost of four ships he's engaged so far has been about a third of his health. <clears throat> he's not detected, he decides not to start a shooting match with this cruiser. I think what he's going to do, yeah, he's waiting for the destroyer to pop out on the other side of the island, and he's going to gun him down. He's maneuvering, he has to, is, has to assume there's torpedoes been launched. So, change of course and speed. Somebody else actually stole a kill from him on that uh, third destroyer. <coughs> so maybe now he will start engaging the enemy... Is that an enemy battleship over there? What is that? <coughs> I do believe that is a Tsar Nikolai, but I'm not sure.
you have to understand the preview screen when I'm uh, narrating these videos is tiny. It's very hard to see. Turns back into the fight. Looks like he's looking for an opportunity to lay an ambush. Yeah, yep, yeah, lining up the torpedo shot. One widespread, one narrow, kind of give a wall of torpedoes, give a, make a challenge for the enemy to dodge all of them. You're, you're hoping to get multiple good hits, but if you even just get one and do some flooding, that's always nice. Unfortunately, battleship turned. Fortunately, he's got torpedoes over here. Another friendly destroyer appears to have uh, gotten a good hit on him, or it was gunfire. I didn't quite see what it was that uh, took so much of his health. Crumb's got his torpedoes going out. He's maneuvering. Get the guns on him. He's very low health. He should be able to set him on fire, but he just can't get past those rocks. Nope, those rocks are well and truly dead, Grump. I think we can let them go. There we go. You get a decent straight-in shot. Trying to, trying to start a fire here. Even better, enemy guns aren't pointed at him. Ran aground. Set of torpedoes in reserve. That's going to be more than enough to, to kill him. I think he probably could have saved one of the sets. Guy's got nowhere to go, even if he manages to back down some. Yeah. There's three. Grump was proximity spotted by the enemy. That's why other people were able to shoot at him. That's no longer the case. Looks like Grump is going to try and set up another around the island ambush. Might as well. U.S. destroyer captains have to be sneaky. They have a longer detection range than they have torpedo range. So you get in close. You hope the enemy's guns aren't pointed right at you. You dash in and shoot at point-blank range. Turn and pop smoke. Unfortunately, Grump doesn't have smoke available right now. Once again, here's his narrow spread, widespread attack. He is detected. Enemy battleship might take him a while to get his gun swung around. Is he smart enough to turn and maneuver? Yeah, he's maneuvering. Is it going to be enough? Uh, he might get one in there. There we go. One hit. And now, Grunt's done a 180. And so, the enemy has the option of either stopping the flooding now or waiting to get hit by the next spread of torpedoes. Somebody else, uh, friendly torpedo bombers dropped on him. Did major damage. There we go. There's four. And you might be wondering what's up with the disco uh, colors, the purple battleship. Uh, Wargaming works with uh, an anime provider, uh, the Arpeggio of Blue Steel. And one of the rewards they often give out is uh, warships done in the anime theme that if if you have them and you're in the Yakuska port you can see them and you see them in their awful tacky neon colors if you're not operating out of the Yakuska port you would just see that as an ordinary run-of-the-mill Congo battleship Another sneaky approach. Spotted by air. And there's the enemy carrier. There's the other enemy carrier. Crump is trying to sneak up on this guy. Don't know how successful he'll be. He's proximity detected. The enemy's just kicked in his uh, engines. Well, how about that? Citadel. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You don't see a lot of Citadels with 4-inch guns. It's not impossible, you just don't see it often. Three more Citadels. How about that? He's doing a pretty dandy job there. I think the enemy knows he's toast. Yeah. There's five. Devastating Strike. Kraken Unleashed. What else you got? Come on, Grump. We gonna mine a little XP? No. Nope. Couple of shots. Does he get the kill? No, somebody else gets that one. But the match is not over. We're down to one enemy carrier, one enemy destroyer. Grump has a pretty fair idea where the enemy carrier is, and he's gonna head that way. Clemson is maybe not Grump's favorite ship, but it's certainly up there. It's certainly his favorite tier four destroyer. Uh, it's a good, solid little ship, particularly depending on the map you get. Uh, it, like on the New Dawn map, you have plenty of places to hide. You have a very good chance of surviving and inflicting very good casualties. All right, we've spotted the enemy carrier. He's in gun range. No sense not shooting. Uh, enemy carrier driver isn't quite awake to the danger yet, has not gotten underway, or perhaps is concentrating instead on, uh, well, nope, enemy carrier just started underway. Crump doesn't really care. He's good enough gunner he can uh, adjust for a speeding carrier. There's the Confederate award. He started a fire. So the enemy got one squadron off, won't be able to get another one off. Friendly aerial torpedoes coming in on the carrier. Not a great drop, only got one torpedo hit on him. Grumps can continue closing the range using gunfire. He wants to keep the flight deck on fire. Wants to, to do the damage. The enemy just, uh, torpedo bombers just dropped on Grump. He's going to turn. Slow down just a little bit. Is he going to take one? Oh yeah, he is. Look at that. Grump has a hundred and, what is it, 171 HP left. Another torpedo bomber squadron coming in. Grump, you got to dodge this one. You don't have an option. You're not going to survive anything else. Amazingly, Grump was not flooding. So, didn't have to use his damage control. Sets another fire. That's going to keep the enemy uh, dive and torpedo bombers off his back a little bit because the carrier can't launch. Torpedoes are out, but gunfire's coming in. This probably ought to do it. Come on. High caliber. And there we go, six kills, two carriers, two destroyers. My gosh, Grump. You should have left something else for the rest of your team to do. What a fantastic game. The enemy has one destroyer left. Grump's just gonna slide on into the cap circle. And I do believe, even though he's heading towards the enemy destroyer, I don't think he's going to uh, make contact or engage. I mean, you got a 171 HP left. You kind of want to survive the battle after a match like this. Is he going to cap it out? Looks like it. So, about two and a half minutes left to cap. Uh, and the funny thing is, Grump was telling me his gunnery was bad, his uh, his torpedo shooting was bad. He was just having no luck with anything the last week and then yesterday he sends me this file and the replay the in the screenshots and this was an impressive battle 105,000 damage almost 106 uh, double strike devastating strike uh, first blood Kraken unleash Confederate high caliber yeah that's a pretty good game oh there is the enemy destroyer and uh, so yeah, Grump had a good game. And then last night, just after he sends me this video, or sends me this replay file, he turns around and earns another Kraken. I mean, I was having a pretty good game. I mean, you, you saw the, the battle I did in, in the Iowa against the Missouri and the, uh, and the Bismarck. Uh, I had a couple other good games where I killed three. 
Uh, I think I had one where I killed four, but I just could not get a crack in her or anything. I wouldn't have it a great night. Grump, no, he goes out and goes on a killing spree again. I don't know. What is your favorite uh, destroyer? How many of you are destroyer captains? I, I have thousands of games, maybe a thousand games as a destroyer skipper. Uh, a lot in the Clemson. I've ground my way up to the Fletcher. I still don't have the gearing yet. Uh, but if I'm going to drive a destroyer, I generally either like the Clemson or sometimes depending on the situation I do like the the Minikaze. Grump has the Kamikaze R, I have the Minikaze. Anyway, there you go. Good job Grump. 261,000 credits, 3,990 XP, 200 free XP. Confederate. First strike, or first blood, double strike, Kraken. Two times the devastating strike, the high caliber, 105,000 damage, 108 gun hits, 8 torpedoes, 6 incapacitations, 6 sinkings, Three fires, four floodings, and eight citadels. Not bad at all. Not surprisingly, top of the team with, what is that, uh, 1,700 base XP. Not bad at all. Overall, and, and his team was not all that good. A lot of those folks just didn't do all that well. Grump, on the other hand, did. Hopefully, we will get uh, Grump's other Kraken produced and posted up tomorrow. Uh, for now, that's it. Uh, I'm going to go back and uh, jump online and say we're teasing Grump about Army finally beating Navy. Hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we'll we will talk to you soon.